today we're looking at one of the more interesting releases that has happened in the last year on the trail running scene. It is the Norda 001 Trail Runner. So Norda is a company from Montreal, Canada that launched their first shoe, the 001 last year and their mission is to make the most durable and sustainable trail runners out there let's have a look at the features and just kind of see um how those guys stack up against the competition we've been lucky enough to test that shoe for a few months now so let's check it out first let's take a look at what the 001 is all about so the first thing you notice compared to a lot most or if not all other trail shoes out there is that the Norda uses Dyneema as their material for the upper. Now Dyneema is a material that's used for climbing equipment, uh, some of the hiking, or, you know, mountaineering backpacks and any other situation where you require very high abrasion resistance. It is an excessively durable material. Uh, Norda uses the bio-based Dyneema uh, which um, comes with a 90% smaller carbon footprint uh, than the standard Dynamo. So a lot more of a sustainable of a product. It is made out of leftover material from the wood industry, so bio-based. Um, really interesting, no seam on the upper. You have a little kind of rubberized toe bumper here just for a bit of protection. It's quite soft, but it's good enough to protect your toes uh, against impacts. The midsole is made by Vibram, it's called the SLE. We don't really see that midsole anywhere else on the market. It is really cushy, but at the same time, quite responsive. So it's a really interesting ride on that shoe. You are looking at 26 millimeters, millimeters of stack height in the back and 21 millimeters of stack height in the front for a five millimeter drop. Now, five millimeter is quite standard right now as like a mid kind of drops you uh, and the stack height gives you a good blend of sensitivity and flexibility while still providing a ton of cushioning. The outsole runs from the very back of the heel all the way wrapped around as a one piece outsole. It is a Vibram Mega Grip light base with five millimeter lugs. So pretty much the gold standard right now in the industry when it comes to trail threads. Um, at five millimeters, you do get good versatility and Norda uses a proprietary pattern. so. Uh, forward-facing chevrons for grip uh, when in the front and then rear-facing chevrons for braking uh, grip in the heel. So this is the Norda 001. Let's now check um, what we are thinking of that shoe and how it's doing for an environment like the Rockies. So since last fall, we've been lucky enough to get our hands and our feet into uh, some of the Norda 001s. Uh, Sam here at the shop ran well over a thousand kilometers in his pair. I have a few hundred kilometers on mine and a lot of our employees and staff here is on the 001. Um, so we have a good grasp on what it's good for, what it's not good for. Spoiler alert, it's a very, very good shoe. Let's start with the fit. So the Norda is a very average fitting shoe. It's not narrow by any means. I'd say it's average in the width in the toe box. It does hold the midfoot very, very well. You do have a gusseted tongue, but the gusset is very elastic. And combined with those two little kind of um, loops here at the midfoot, it makes for a very, very secure fit in the middle. The fit feels somewhat unusual because you will see that in the heel pocket, there is no cushioning. So uh, Norda borrows some of the newer technology and fit from some of the road marathoning shoes where they're not gonna include any cushioning in the heel. It makes for a super interesting fit because your heel doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't slip at all, but you don't feel the pressure of the heel pocket against the Achilles and, the, and um, your calcaneus. So, it's a really interesting upper. Uh, personally, it's one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever tried. As soon as you put your foot in there, you really feel the gusset and the, the midfoot getting uh, held very snugly. Uh, it's easy to adjust the lacing quite well as well. You don't feel like there's any pressure points. Uh, really, really good fit-wise. Um, on the trail, it is a shoe that feels quite stable. The mix of the 26 millimeter stack height with that flexible midsole and it makes for a shoe that excels in technical and semi-technical terrain. Um, it's not necessarily a gravel running shoe. It's a little bit, it's quite flexible. You could go with something that's plated for that kind of conditions. But as soon as the terrain becomes a little bit more uneven, that the give that the Norda 001 has uh, provides tons of stability. 
um, and the flexibility makes for a stable ride as opposed to other shoes in that category that sometimes can feel like they're a little bit kind of tipsy on the sides and it's easy to roll your ankle or feel like you're losing stability. So really stable. The midsole also provides with a really interesting amount of bounce. It feels very cushy, but it's not pillows, like very, very soft cushy. It's quite responsive. So you do feel the bounce in that shoe and it, it doesn't have that, that unstable feel. So really interesting feel on the trail. Is it a shoe meant for like extremely technical and sharp terrain? Probably not. At the end of the day, nothing really holds up in like super sharp lines, limestone scree we have in the Rockies here, but on anything else we can encounter in the valley, I think it's a fantastic performer. The grip is quite good. Um, it isn't the grippiest shoe out there, but at five millimeters of lug height, you do get good performance in everything but the dustiest or the muddiest conditions. It does quite well also on limestone slabs. As soon as you need a little bit of grip or a little bit of um, friction, it is a, a very good option. So kudos to Vibram and Norda for the tread and the grip. Uh, if you're running a, a bunch of deep mud, I would probably go with something a little bit more aggressive. Or if you run snow or ice, it, this might not be the best choice out there. For everything else, it is a solid option. Uh, now, Norda claims that the durability is what makes this shoe stand out, stand out from the bunch. Uh, and I can agree that a Norda shoe will get you at least a solid thousand kilometers, if not more. The uppers after you know a few hundred kilometers you will start having a little bit of cosmetic wear whether it's the overlays kind of wearing out a little bit or some of the um the reflective inserts especially if you run technical terrain but the integrity of the shoe will stay uh very good until a lot of kilometers don't forget a shoe that has durability is still going to be a shoe that shows some wear, right? It's not going to stay brand new until it's worn out, but it will keep its shape and it will keep its comfort for a lot longer. So durability so far, we've had people run way over a thousand kilometers on that shoe um, without having any issues, any holes. The upper feels very, very durable and it is very durable. Um, so the, you know, the bottom line question is, does, is it worth the price tag? At $285 for a pair, uh, you're comparing the Norda against some of the more premium shoes out there, you know, whether it's from Solomon, from Scarpa, from La Sportiva, from Altra, uh, from Scott, Adidas, name it. Um, and you're definitely a little bit above the, the price point of other companies. But considering that a standard trail shoe would get you anywhere between 600 and 750 kilometers, uh, investing an extra 50 to $75 for the Norda to get over a thousand kilometers does make sense. It is a shoe that is meant to offer you the best sustainability. Sustainability here being that you don't need to renew your equipment nearly as often. So yeah, check it out, Norda001 from this awesome brand that is Canadian. They are based out of Montreal. And it is a shoe that personally, I have a really hard time not reaching out for every single time I go on a trail run because it is just so comfortable.